I took 90 days to find balance in my life and I captured these moments so hopefully you could be inspired to soul blaze your life. The subconscious is the part of us that does things automatically, like driving, getting dressed, and vacuuming. They say you can change your conscious behavior if you change your unconscious beliefs. So I contacted Marcel to have a hypnosis session. After an injury, the one thing I've had an issue with has been working out. It seems like it perpetuates my injuries. Marcel said that he could help me create a subconscious belief that working out is fun and safe. I figure it's worth a shot, and I'm doing everything I can to stay open to new ideas. Lisa called me because she wants me to help her get rid of her limiting beliefs towards fitness and weight loss. So. I came here today and I'm going to use different modalities such as hypnosis, NLP and a few other psychological techniques to get her past these limiting beliefs so she can not only achieve the body she desires but make it very easy for her. I'm going to help you get the right emotional state and then from that eradicate everything that would get you out of it, mm -hmm. teach you how to get back into it and then from there you should be pretty solid. It should be very easy. It will be very congruent. The only reason you wouldn't get to where you want to go is because of some kind of inconsistency or internal you know, conflict. Mm -hmm. So if there's an internal conflict, for example, towards getting fit, that's why you won't do it. Because there's a party that says I want it, and then there's a party that says no. Correct. And that party that says no is what's stopping you from really doing everything. So everything that's been making you uncomfortable comes from a part of you that says, hey, I'm uncomfortable. Yes. I want to eradicate that part. Okay. So almost that's nothing perfect. will be uncomfortable, yeah. and then it'll be super easy. You have your conscious mind and your subconscious mind. Mm -hmm. Your subconscious mind is extremely extremely powerful. It's a part of your mind that processes up to 50 million bits of information every second. Mm -hmm. Unless you change things in your unconscious mind, you're going to continue to have the same thoughts and those thoughts are going to create the same feelings, which are going to create the same actions and then you're going to have the same results. Five to ten percent of the day, you're completely present, you're in the moment, you're like, I'm going to make a change, I'm going to do it. And that's what we call willpower. And after a certain amount of time, eventually, it becomes an unconscious pattern. Like think about the first time you started driving. Could you open the window? Mm -hmm. I couldn't open the window. I couldn't touch the radio. Mm -hmm. Now you could probably drive, do your makeup, mm -hmm. eat, and text mm -hmm. at the same mm -hmm. time, right? Because it's become unconscious. So it's so easy. You don't have to think about it. So what I want to do right now is I want to make things unconscious for you. Like when you get up in the morning and you brush your teeth, you don't really have to think about it. You just do it. Mm -hmm. If you don't do it, you probably feel gross and you mm -hmm. come up with a million different reasons for why it's so bad. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do the same thing for you at the gym. You're going to come up with a million reasons for why you have to work out. And if you don't work out, you're going to feel really bad about it. Okay. Rather than if I don't work out, oh, okay, great. <laughs> I didn't work yeah, out today. Yeah, got out of it today. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm going to switch pretty much the feelings, okay. right? When I'm going to hypnotize her, I'm going to use something called an induction. Now, an induction just induces someone into the state of hypnosis. Now, a lot of you at home may not believe in hypnosis or not even be familiar with it. Well, hypnosis is a natural state of mind that everyone goes into. Now, from age zero to eight, your brain's in something called theta. It's a brainwave pattern. Now, theta is hypnosis. That's why when you're a child, you can learn things instantaneously. So I'm gonna put her back into that super learning state so we could change the limiting beliefs she adopted sometime in her childhood to allow her to be able to get fit very easily and create a new belief system that's congruent with whatever it is she's looking to get. I want you to focus on those fingers, okay? And realize I can't do this for you. You have to do this for yourself. So okay. as long as you focus on what I say and use your imagination, you're gonna be awesome. Mm -hmm. So look at your fingers and focus on them and just imagine them getting closer and closer. And I want you to imagine there's a brass ring around those fingers. Now imagine how stiff and rigid a brass ring is, how strong a brass ring is. Now imagine that brass ring is getting so tight around these fingers that it's starting to merge into those fingers. Now those fingers are becoming brass. Can you see that? Can you imagine that? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now in a moment you're going to find that everything stopping you from being completely congruent with working out has moved into these fingers. The reason you've been stuck in any area, the reason you've been stuck in going into anything uncomfortable is because it's now in your fingers. And those fingers are now stuck and the only way you can pull them apart is when you immediately eradicate that belief and you will literally not be able to go back to that. And just think about all the things that you haven't been able to do. Mm -hmm. That's all stacked into that finger. That's why it feels pretty stuck now, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Now hypnosis isn't a state where I do something for her. It's a state in which I guide her into a process where she makes the change. If she doesn't want to make the change, it's not going to happen, which is why it's very vital to have enough rapport with her and to put her in a setting where she's extremely comfortable so she can make this transformation for herself. I'm gonna help you out, okay? Mm -hmm. When I say the word sleep, you're not going to sleep. Your eyes close, your body relaxes, and you're just gonna let yourself completely focus and sleep mm -hmm. all the way down, just like that, all the way deep. Completely relaxing your mind mm -hmm. and your body now with five, four, three. So what I'm expecting today is for Lisa to tell me what's been stopping her and what she's associated towards fitness because 
every behavior is either going towards pleasure or away from pain. And she's clearly associated some kind of pain towards fitness and getting the body she desires. By the time I count to five, you're gonna find the harder you try to go back to how you used to be, the more confident you become. The more you think about fitness, the more you love it. You cannot wait to work out. You cannot wait to accomplish your goals. And you realize there's not a single day that's gonna go by that you're not gonna feel motivated and inspired to do it because you know that you will have an impact on others and yourself. Now it's up to you. By the time I count to five, to realize that this could either be your reality or not. So now with one, allow yourself to feel that confidence, two, feel that motivation through your body, three, feel that certainty in the fact that you have changed, four, five, eyes open wide awake. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! How do you feel? Do I feel good? Yeah, think about the, think about the gym real quick. Love it. You love it? <laughs> love it. You feel yes, it? Yeah. <laughs> it's that easy, huh? No. Cool, right? No. I didn't feel like a miracle happened, that bam, I was a different person. But I do know that it's important to start saying what you want in the positive. So yes, I feel good and I love the gym because that's what I'm creating. Certainty makes you go take the action mm -hmm. to get the result. Mm -hmm. It makes you take advantage of the opportunity. It makes you take advantage of the moment. So right now, ask yourself, are you ready to take advantage of them every single moment? Seize the moment, seize the day, Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. And get to where you want to go. Mm -hmm. If you work out every day and eat healthy every day, do what mm -hmm. you're supposed to do every single day, mm -hmm. where are you going to be? I'm going to have that six pack. I'm going to be strong and I'm going to reach all my goals. Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu famously said, watch your thoughts. They become your words. Watch your words. They become your actions. Watch your actions. They become your habits. Watch your habits, they become your character. Watch your character, it becomes your destiny. We need to watch our thoughts if we want the destiny that we envision for ourselves and the world. To manifest anything, we need to stay strong and healthy, and it takes daily practice. So I'm on the ride, and I will try. I mean, I will follow through. I mean, you can try to pick up the pencil, or you can just pick it up. The choice is yours.